Welcome to episode 14 and in this episode we'll create the entity class which basically is um, a collection of data which explains an object which the various systems in our game will interpret. So um, create a new class so to name files a header and a .cpp and you can name this entity Great. Okay, now our interface will be class entity and then private. So, first off, so private public. So, okay, so first off, include the following things include your vertex buffer, and of course, we will expand this class over several episodes your vector tree and also include the vector include the vector container vector okay then um, for the privates for now I'll keep it very simple the only thing we'll really have is the vertex buffer we won't even use our vector right now right now so the vertex buffer, vertex buffer, buffer, and also the, the, the vector tree, and that will be our position. And that's about it actually for now. Then let's continue. Uh, so obviously we'll have this header there and getters. You are the getter and the setter. For both our variables and by the way please underscore them both I just like this you don't have to do this but I prefer to and then our constructor um, so simply entity and obviously we need everything for now so entity um, yeah or vertex buffer which is required Vertex buffer and our vector tree position and our destructor, of course. So entity. Okay, now let's move to our .cpp file. In entity.cpp, so here I typed out all of the Setter and getters, they are quite simple and you should know how to do that. Um, then our entity constructor also will be very simple. Um, simply do underscore vertex buffer equals vertex buffer and underscore position. Oh, oh what the hell? Oops, I forgot for a second that C++ has initialized lists. So simply do underscore vertex buffer, vertex buffer, and underscore position, position. Okay, and that was it for our new entity class. There's no semicolon there. Okay, now in render system.h, include our new entity, entity.h, and then um, go to render and change and basically change the arguments from vertex buffer to entity we'll, now our um, our render system will use entities instead of vertex buffers directly okay switch to the render system.cpp file and again fix this entity Entity, entity, and then a couple of fixes here. So first off, begin by doing open open bracket entity, entity, get vertex buffer, close bracket, like this, and then also put this in brackets and 
and oh god, okay, I messed this up. Actually, oh god, damn it! I'm very sorry, guys. I'll just retype this. It's getting too confusing. Uh, entity, so entity get vertex buffer. Put this in brackets or ash. Do I even need brackets? I do. So get vertex buffer and then um get I don't know I don't need brackets so never mind then get shader and get your program handle yes I don't need brackets so why do I think I needed brackets uh, okay um then all of this change everything here from vertex buffer to well yeah, make sure you get the vertex buffer from the entity. So I'll, I'll quickly change that. So I, I changed everything to use the entity now. And also make sure to get these two lines. So the configure vertex attributes and the render vertex buffer. Okay, now let's add something new. So I've added a position variable to our entity. And that position will basically represent the position of our cube in the world. So of course, er, so if we have multiple cubes, we, we would want that every, every cube has its own position or its own position. So to, to do that, OpenGL has a nice function for us called GL translate f. And, and it has three arguments. And essentially, um, it will look like this. So entity, Entity get position um, dot x for the x and of course it will be the same for the y and z so it will look like this so this is a pretty basic stuff so it will essentially translate or move um, it will move or cube by the amount we specify here okay now uh, in the game manager include the new entity so include entity.h then um, let's create a temporary entity so simply make a private variable called entity and call it entity okay that's it now move to the .cvp class, so game manager, manager .cvp. So in the constructor, let's create our entity. Um, I'll do it here. So entity, let me do an underscore, no problem. Entity equals new entity. And um, yeah, um, basically do the following thing first. Do underscore resource manager and then get a vertex buffer array at one, which is our cube. And oh, yeah, and also our position, which will be um, make vector three and now, if I put 0, 0, 0 in, for now, the position won't change at all. So I'll do that like this. Okay, now, uh, go here to the run game loop. And in render, simply change this to entity. Okay. And, yeah, okay. I've made this stupid mistake in your render system. Uh, of course, change this from x to y and this from x to z in your GL translate f function. Now, if we run this uh, like it is now, you can see our cube um, is still the same. Now, say I give this one on the x, then it will move to the to the right. If I now also give it 1 on the y, it will move up, you see? 
uh, if I give it this minus one, it will move down like this, and I and I can also give this like five, and five will move it back for its member. Um, our depth ranges from zero to one thousand. So if I give it a positive number, it will actually move farther away from us. So five will be like out of sight. Or actually, oh no, sorry. Um, uh, it actually actually depends on how your camera is set up. And I think at the moment, yeah, I, yes, sorry, it's yeah, forgot what I said. Yeah. So yeah. So minus five. In our case, is is uh, is farther away. So yeah, um, this is a pretty basic implementation. Uh, in the future, we will expand our um, our uh, our entity class to rotation and, uh, and scale and whatever. Uh, yeah, but for now, this is it. And um, next video, I'm not sure what to do. There are so many options at this point. Mm, yeah, you'll see. Bye.